They're here. So yeah, I mean, at first, I just didn't know what to do. At first, Daddy was confused. I didn't know it was going to affect people in Nassau and Freeport. And then I told him, it was just the first three numbers. Our new phone numbers have arrived, but there is no need to be afraid. Only the first three numbers have changed. The new numbers are in effect now. The family of an alleged gang leader calls for peace at his funeral. It's all over. Ain't nothing we could do. A shooting victim dies in hospital two weeks after the incident. Residents scramble to safety as a tornado touches down on Green Turtle Key. Jesus, we gotta get out of here! Plus, Rastafarians seek state recognition of their faith. Automatically, if you are a Rasta, that means that you are a suspect. I'm Nakia DeVoe, and this is NB12 Weekend. Everyone, thanks for joining us this Saturday for NB12 Weekend. Julian Heads Colley, a reported gang leader, was shot to death in mid-April, leaving police on guard for any type of retaliation. But as Colley was today laid to rest, his eldest brother said he has found peace and is calling on others to seek peace to prevent more killings from taking place. Christina McNeil has more in this report. The eldest brother of Julian Heads, Kali, is calling for peace on the streets as his brother is laid to rest. This comes days after police stormed Nassau Village, arresting dozens of residents and leaving even more outraged. Elric Kali's comments during the funeral were brief. However, speaking to reporters later on, he said his family has found peace following Heads' death. Heads was gunned down in the Miller's Heights area April 17th at the age of 34. We really find peace now that, you know, it's all over. Ain't nothing we could do, the family could do as such, to bring Julian back. If 9, 10, 15, 100 people die, he's not coming back. And this is what I'm striving not to happen. But on another hand, what the police did the other day, I think it was wrong. I think it was morally wrong, morally, because somehow, you have to consider the other peoples. Following that raid in Nassau Village, police presence during the funeral service was heavy, although only two uniformed officers were on the church grounds. Other plainclothes officers and police in patrol cars drove up and down Fox Hill Road North as the funeral service took place. Inspector Gladstone Bodie of the Eastern Division told MB12 that even more officers were stationed at Lakeview Cemetery where heads would be buried. Bodie said police anticipated that if any trouble took place today, it would be at the graveyard. But today, Colley said residents were still outraged at police storming the streets earlier this week. I'm not asking them to look at the police policy and the way they conduct themselves because the same people who are on the police force, not because they got police behind their name, make them great. We all come from humble beginnings. And that's all I respect, the humble beginning I come from. And if something going wrong, I don't mind if you lock it. If you lock me up for something, I have no problem with that. If I have done something wrong, I, Elric Colley, will gladly go before the court and face whatever the court put before me. But to take away someone, right, detain someone, just because you say you want to keep the peace, it's wrong, morally, physically, and putting 47 people in, in, in two cells? Come on. A well-placed police source told the Nassau Guardian that Heads is the suspected leader of the Nassau Village-based fire and theft crew. However, his mother and other family members have denied such gang ties. Today, dozens of t-shirts sporting the words, Fire Nation, All Guns Out, could be seen among those in and outside the church. But Colley says his brother was not that type of man. But where do you go for an application to be a part of a gang? The biggest gang in the town, if anybody want to sit down and analyze, it's, it's the police. They call my brother a gangster, criminal, a criminal history, all that. We have letters where the former, former people apologize to Julian. We have 
every police record Julian ever have, and we have them. And I, I, I want um, somebody to come back and we will talk about it and I will show them all of these stuff. We have them. Julian just came back from away. They say he was involved in the Ballers nightclub shooting. If those guys had listened to Julian, that would have never happened. Julian Head's Collie leaves behind his mother, four children, sisters, brothers, and numerous nieces and nephews. Collie says despite everything that has happened, he is leaving it all in the hands of God. May God be with us all, and I hope that God preside over this matter. Not the police, not the courts, but God. Reporting for NB12, I'm Christina McNeil. After fighting for his life for the past two weeks, a 26-year-old man succumbed to his injuries this morning, pushing the murder count to 37. Gregory Miller was shot in the stomach on April 20th while walking on Cordo Avenue. Police say he died in hospital just before 1 this morning. They now have another murder investigation on their hands, and as usual, police are asking members of the public to come forward with any information on this incident. President of nonprofit group Families of All Murder Victims, Candy Gibson, says the group is still waiting for a meeting with Minister of National Security, Dr. Bernard Nottage, after he ignored protesters demanding justice in Rawson Square back in March. FOAM, which has now joined forces with Citizens for Justice and Freedom March, insists that with crime still hitting so close to home, statistics showing that overall crime is down mean nothing, except perhaps that certain crimes are underreported. No one knows it better than Sonia Minnis, who has come face to face with crime in her backyard. Blame game is over. It's not PLP, it's not FNM, and it's not DNA, it's not Cocklick, it's not Heineken, and definitely ain't Heineken. The blame game stops. Now, either we can come together, because we're all Bahamians, we're, we have foreigners in this land, everybody come together, because guess what? The murder, the guy who's supposed to have the hand behind the trigger, he ain't saying you as a Bahamian I can kill you, and you as a Haitian I can kill you. He doing what he have to do. So we have to now make our stand. We're hurting. I had too much people get murdered in my lifetime. One was incident where it happened last year, right in the back of my yard, same way, shooting happening. I feel like country is too small to have this too much murders going on. I don't even feel safe right now in my own country. I ready to move off my own country and I feel bad because I'm a behemoth citizen. I shouldn't be feeling that way. I feel I'm supposed to be safe in my own country where I born. Not run away from my country. Not so it's just a dot on the map for this too much murder to be going on. I can tell you from my own personal experience that many of the crimes that are being committed are not reported. You need only look at my Facebook, and I, I have some crimes now to report that nobody else seems to be aware of. At least the police is not revealing it. So crime is not done. Earlier this week, a shootout between Fleming and Dunmore Streets between rival gangs left area residents in fear for their lives. A group of suspects was arrested in connection with the shootings, but police were still searching for more suspects. Citizens for Justice Chairman Bishop Walter Hanschel says he is lobbying for tougher punishment for criminals and solutions that he believes will produce results. I'm lobbying for no bail, for no person charged with murder. Secondly, those who are convicted of murder should get the death penalty. Additionally, Citizens for Justice are calling for the return of corporal punishment. That's on the book too. Instead of giving these fellas bail, give them some stripes. That's the only thing. See, if you can't hear, you feel. These fellas, they're not going to change. And, they, and, and, and it's like a game because they know they could get bail. Stop the bail and start punishing the criminals. Hanchel adds that until the Bahamas gets rid of the Privy Council and resumes capital punishment, crime and murder will continue to plague the Bahamas. Well, police making a gruesome discovery in Eleuthera this week. The skeletal remains of what officers believe was a human fetus were found in Harbor Island on Wednesday. Police did not give many details, but it said that acting on information, Eleuthera police officers went to Munning Street where they discovered the suspected fetus. They are investigating. In other news, Green Turtle Key's Roots and Heritage Festival over in Abaco ended suddenly yesterday after a tornado touched down nearby. Those in attendance scrambled to pack up their belongings and flee the area. 
You can see the weather system clearly in this footage, shot by Pastor Ronaldo Archer of the Green Turtle Key Community Fellowship. Festival goers watched as the water spout moved from the ocean and made landfall. That's when they realized they should run for cover. Attention everybody, we have a water spout. Tornado! The area. It's on land. Jesus, we gotta get out of here. Safe precautions. Do not just stand there and look at it. I urge all of my vendors to be very careful. Whoa, man. Careful. I've never had this happen before, so let's be smart about it. Hey, that thing is spinning, for real. Look at it, look at it. We got to get moving. Get the kids out of here. Tornado, sir. Serious one. Tornado. Real one. Big one. Big, yeah, get the kids out of here. We're told that no one was injured, but the tornado damaged at least one home on the island. Coming up after the break, Rastafarians say they face heavy discrimination because of their beliefs. And said the captain's free for small portions of sacramental herb. Stay tuned to hear more right after this.